Hey, what's good, Walking Dead fans? This is the Com Fire Crew, and we're here to talk about the Walking Dead. Oh, all right, Episode. we're gonna go over some of our favorite moments. Um, it's going to be a little bit different because there was so much in this episode, like our favorite moments are going to be, you know, a lot packed in there, but we're going to zoom through this as fast as we can. This episode was awesome. I'm Comfire Rich. I'm Comfire Nate. And right off the bat, one of the best moments I thought was the whole Rishon reveal. Okay. You know, they're in the house. Everyone's coming in there. They realize that Jesus has escaped. They have the, the, their prisoners. So they're after him. They're trying to figure it out. Everybody rolls up, man. And there's, there's Rick and Rishon basically in their britches. Um, it was funny. I liked it a lot. It was funny how instead of just being like this slow, like kind of, oh, did you hear about Rick and Michonne? You know, like mm-hmm. there wasn't that kind of stupid stuff. It was just like, oh, wow. Okay. And then just move on. You know, there's no reason to kind of dwell on it too much. Um, but there was like a few moments in that entire beginning part that I thought was a real big deal. One of the moments that, um, that Richie pointed out was that, that one point Carl while Jesus is talking to these guys, Carl kind of smirks and looks at Michonne and she mm-hmm. kind of looks down, which I thought was funny. Um, cause I went back and I did see that. It was kind of funny how, you know, he's like, ah, oh, so what you got, you know, my dad, right. You know, it's just kind of a little funny thing. Um, but that, and just, you got Jesus just explaining this thing to these groups and explaining to them that, Hey, there's other groups out there. Um, and I think that's a real big deal, man. How freaking cool is Jesus? I mean, like right from the opening scene, he's just chilling. He's taking pictures off the wall. Carl's got a gun in his head. He's just like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm sitting on the steps looking at this picture, waiting for your dad to get up with your mom. And and like th- this whole, he's so relaxed. And then when he's sitting down, they're like, how did you get away? He's like, not come, or like one guard can't watch two exits or third story, you know, balcony yeah. or whatever. And knots come untied and locks get picked. And, and he just goes on. He's like, hey, I visited your armory, by the way. Your food supply is a little bit low. What do y'all got, like 54 people? And Maggie's like, more. And he gives her this look like, no, you don't. I see your BS. <laughs> you, you know, like, he just let it go. Like, this dude is so smart. He's so calm. He was cool. And when he mentioned your world's about to get a whole lot bigger, like, that was very impactful. Like, for these people, like, this is the start of something. Like, we get the e-commerce. We get to go to trade back and forth with another uh community and a barter system and like things are starting to come together and i thought rick says how can we trust you and he was like you can't at this moment you kind of realize this is such a rare opportunity in the world that they live in now you can't pass it up so no matter how high the risk is this is a risk versus reward if it pans out to be true life-saving you know they they're no stranger to danger so anyway that whole moment was so freaking awesome we loved that we could spend 30 minutes probably talking about that opening scene, but we're going to move on to favorite moment number two. And this is just a list of Abraham's quotes. I mean, dude was money this whole episode, right? Not to mention the fact he was in La La Land over Sasha the whole time. But anyway, he goes in, he was like, he, you know, he's asking Glenn, right? He's obviously conflicted, you know, with this little love interest thing he's got going on his head. He asked him, he's like, yo, when you, when you were pouring the biscuit, was you trying to make pancakes? I'm, I'm, I'm cracking up in this whole scene and, Glenn's like, what, well, dude, what are you talking? Oh, oh, you're talking about the baby. And um, he's like, man, I don't know. When I'm expecting rain, I put on galoshes. And it was just like all these little puns, man. Nate, I think there was a couple more in there. Yeah, no, he was he was great, man. And it was funny. It was funny because there's that moment and it's like out of the blue when him and um, Daryl are together. And he's like, uh, hey, Daryl, you know, how long do you think uh, Rick and Michonne have been uh uh, what was it he said? Uh, Ump and Buglies. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it was it was hilarious because it's like there's not that like conversation like back and forth. It's like out of the blue. Uh, hey, how about that? We just witnessed that this morning. We haven't talked about you know. And it was like it was it was funny. And 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 Daryl's just kind of like, you know, Daryl doesn't care at this point. Daryl's so focused. There's so much own. more stuff going on, and like Abraham just can't get it out of his mind. Yeah, like it's just it's stuck in his head. He's like, oh, I wonder how long that's been going on, you know, and it's just it's funny, you know, and it it's just one of the things. And it just again, at that moment where they're making this conversation, which goes into my next favorite moment was number three, which is the fact that they're all together doing something like I mean, this is like the core group and they're they're clearing a the house. They're looking for the um, the members of Jesus group that apparently got into a wreck and they're hiding inside this building. And man, they're clearing this building like pros. I mean, it's been a while since we've seen them in that sort of situation because now pretty much, you know, they're safe in Alexandria. You know, they're not having episodes where they're looking for supplies as much, stuff like that. I mean, they're clearing this house, and I mean, it's like back-to-back, boom, boom, taking down zombies, boom, boom. taking. I mean, it's just, 
it's kind of nostalgic. It kind of reminds you, it's like, yeah, man, exactly. these guys are awesome. Look at them go go to town, just you know, taking out people like it's. I mean, just zombies left and right, like there's no problem. And I, I really like that a lot. Yeah, it, when Nate mentions the band back together, but if you realize we actually got Glenn back. Like even the whole time Glenn's been back, he hasn't been a part of the group or conversating. This is the first time we see them all OG style go through. If you ever remember back to like um, episode one of season two, I think, when the group was a little bit more hardened, they -hmm. clear a house. They don't even talk to each other, and they was very systematic. It gave me this feel again, and the nostalgia fact was so true because we we haven't seen that. How many times have we seen them clear a house or a building? We see it all the time, but because they got back to it, I don't think we've really seen that this Mm -hmm. whole season not with these with this group and I and it, I loved it I loved every scene how how pristine they were just going through just handling business separating getting out doing their thing um moving on from that favorite moment number 4 they leave that they get the hilltop they're looking and you know these guys pull some spears on them and Rick's group's got the guns are going going back and forth Jesus you know negates that situation lets them keep their guns says yo looks at Rick and says I trust you. And I think this is a pivotal moment for most of the fans out there. This should be the turning point where they trust Jesus, like where the group, where the fans trust Jesus. Yeah. He's letting these this group of Rick's very efficient group who knows how to use these weapons come into their village, see everything they got when they don't even have guns. He just kind of laid their plan out there. So this should solidify the fact that Jesus is a good guy. Yeah, no, it's 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 a big deal because you see, they they walk into this place, and as you can tell right off the bat, I mean, it looks like a, I mean, on the outside you got dudes with spears and stuff. It looks like something literally like out of like colonial times. Mm-hmm. You know, they get in there, they got cows, they got you know blacksmith and stuff like this, and it feels real out of the you know just different from what they're used to. Um, but these guys are going to be because what they do have is they do have food. And they realize that. So they're like, mm-hmm. listen, we need to go in there. And I thought it was really cool as someone who's you know, been reading the comics forever, um, get to see Hilltop, see it translate into uh, into television, um, which I thought was really cool. And I liked that a lot. Hey, we decided to split this video up into two parts because it was running a little bit over and there were so many Easter eggs and so much more that we had to talk about. So if you want to keep watching, then click over here for part two right now to continue on.